what is going on guys today i'm going to show you guys how to increase your fps really easily on runescape dragon wilds because as we know by default playing on high settings it looks nice the game looks cool and all but that fucking fog is annoying as hell and the motion blur and the film grain is just this is not it you know so i found out using the engine ini file and setting these values it will actually increase the fps by around 40 to 50 frames depending on what kind of setup you have and it's pretty simple it makes your game look not only better but run better like it's it's a no-brainer like you got to do it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys how to do the uh, edits but i'm going to show y'all how my game runs right now and give y'all the frame graph at the top so i can see how it runs on my setup and then i'll show you guys the after after i do the tweaking and see how it runs after the fact just to show like the game runs a lot better and it's really simple the game looks better runs better so i'm loading into my world right now i'm gonna show y'all my fps on the game damn what the fuck <laughs> yeah so we're in my world right now right right now we're getting 68 fps 64 it's not looking too good for me you know the frames are dipping but god damn does the game look nice it looks really nice i know it, the game unreal engine 5 looks great and all but playing this is on max settings by the way so I'm playing on epic settings with a 90 FPS cap. I'm going to increase that to 140 real quick. But this is the settings I'm using right now. So these are the settings I'm currently using. No frame gen. This is just base settings. Balanced, full screen windowed, epic, 140. So max settings right now with a DLSS of balanced. It looks, it look, the game looks really nice. It looks really fucking nice. I'm not even going to lie to you. But you know, it can be better than this. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of the annoying ass fog and all this other shit. All right. So I have my guide here on the left. I'm blocked by my face real quick. Let me show you guys. So this is the guide on the right side to show you guys what to do. I have this in the description as well. So you don't have to, you know, pause the video or anything like that. But literally, you want to press Windows key and R. It pulls up this little menu in the bottom of the screen. Type in app data and it's going to take you here. Then you want to go to local. Then you want to scroll down to RS Dragon Wilds. I have a lot of shit in here. Don't worry. RS Dragon Wilds. Then you want to go to saved and go to config and you see a folder that says windows go in there and you see a file that says engine.ini now before i touch this file at all i'm going to copy it real quick i'm going to copy this file and i'm going to put it in a folder called old engine That's just, you can name it whatever but i'm just naming it this so i keep the original file in there so that's in there and while that's in there we're going to go back to engine.ini and we're going to edit it all right so in here this is a bunch of files and shit don't worry don't get overwhelmed by this at the very bottom that's what we care about you should have script engine renderer settings right literally you just want to copy what i have here in the description so you want to copy from this line to the last line copy it and you want to paste it there that's it and this is going to disable the film green and the bloom and all the other bullshit and then you just want to click save or use whatever notepad you're using to edit it just save it after you save it you want to right click the file properties read only this is so that the game doesn't change these after the fact but remember you backed it up so if anything goes wrong you can just drag in the old engine to i and i you're good to go all right so now i'm going to relaunch the game and see how it runs now all right so as you can see i'm getting a, a little higher fps over here it's still kind of dips over in this area because i got a lot of shit going on in this part of the map but for the most part my game does run smoother it does look a little worse when you can see the little effect in the back over there but hey i don't even notice that in normal gameplay my game is running smoother i feel like i can actually run around the map my frame rate is generally higher uh it's feeling nice and smooth and i'm still in max settings so i don't have to compromise my quality honestly to keep the game looking nice now if you really want to get the most fps obviously put the game on low settings it, it won't look as good though well that's up to you that's actually subjective but I like how it looks on Ultra. I don't really play my games on Ultra much, but this one looks nice. It's a survival game. It's not competitive. So, you know, it's just like, it's eye candy. But yeah, for the most part, use that config, guys. If you enjoy this tutorial, to an end to me, you know, sub for more content, I guess. Um, I'll drop more RuneScape videos if y'all like this one. I like this game. So, if you want more, let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's a cool little mini FPS guide if you want that. It increases your FPS a bit. If you're on the low spec, it affects it way more. But this is a higher spec PC, I guess. So it's not really nothing crazy of a jump for me. But yeah. Thanks for watching. And have a great freaking day.